Timothy, my son, I give you this instruction in keeping with the prophecies once made about you, so that by following them you may fight the good fight, holding on to faith and a good conscience. The instruction that Paul gave Timothy was instruct certain people not to teach any different doctrine. Myths, speculations and genealogies would have joined Greek and Hebrew and Christian religion in interesting and strange ways. Instead, they should focus on instruction. It leads to love. It comes from a pure heart, good conscience and sincere faith. Paul is writing to Timothy in Ephesus and one of the most famous passages of Ephesians, the letter from Paul to the Ephesians, is the one about the armor of God. I imagine that Timothy and the prophecies about him could have been about being a soldier with shoes ready to spread the gospel of peace instead of becoming a soldier in the Roman army. A belt of truth and a breastplate of righteousness make good conscience possible. But some have rejected conscience and suffered shipwreck in the faith. The Greek word for conscience, synodesin, is about being self-aware. Two witnesses in one mind. In Paul's writing, one witness is the human self, and the other is the story of Torah, Scripture. The mind and the life living in harmony with God's unfolding story of love in truth. But some have rejected conscience and suffered shipwreck in the faith. To be shipwrecked is to find yourself unable to fight against the storm. To be handed over to the accuser or the adversary is to find yourself lost in the doldrums of the sea and need to find your way back to where you ought to be. The word for instruction is about instructing like a child. And blasphemy is about insulting the integrity and the purpose of God. Lord, you have called me to be the opposite of a Roman soldier. Armed only with your truth and your love and the story that you tell about us. May your Holy Spirit witness to my conscience that my conscience would be pure in your sight and that I would live according to your story and not my own. Teach me the way of peace. Grant me your grace. Amen.